Hello again everyone, you're going to join me today for a little bit of winter fishing. Um, I haven't started early at all today. It's the um, 24th of November and I'm fishing with that. Well that's a paste float but it's quite choppy and blowy today so I put that on. It's a very sensitive float anyway. Um, it takes three number nine shots. And it's dot shots by the way down the line. I've got a five inch hook link on the bottom, size 16 hook but with a banded six millimeter robin red. Um, I've been fishing sort of about 20 minutes now and um, the fish are like picking at it and I don't know whether that's a um, small roach. Um, can't imagine it being a cap, but hopefully the um, small roach will mean that the bigger fish come to have an investigation to see uh, if, they, if there's anything else on the go. And on the top of my pole, I've got one of those feeder pods on. I'm feeding in two millimeter robin reds and uh, they've been soaked from the night before so um, they're, they're not fed in dry but at the moment it's just uh, been like the odd fish has just like had a little poke and it's taken it down but it hasn't sort of sailed away like you'd expect um, a calf to do. So at the moment it's um, quiet. There's the uh, swim. Well, something's uh, a little bit annoying, as you always do have when you go fishing. I've got reeds by the side of me and they're like scraping against the um, pole. So it's been a bit of a pain, that half. Whether it affects the fishing or not, I don't know whether you can feel a vibration going through your pole or not, I don't know. But um, at the moment, it's quite slow. It's got overcast now. When I first started fishing, the um, sun was right on the water. So the um, start to poke out again, now the sun is. So the reflection from the sun on the water has been more or less directly in front of me in my eyes so I'm fishing to the right at the moment of where the uh, reflection is on the water that's just primarily so I can see the flow properly but there's, there's something definitely around in the, uh, the swim I'm fishing whether it's of any uh, consequence or not I couldn't tell you uh, the plan today was to go up on the River Wye at Hedyford but um, when I looked at uh, the river levels this morning, the uh, river Y was seven foot in flood. So, and it was um, it's holding at seven foot. And when I looked further upstream at Bread Wadi, there was still um, it was sort of about half a foot, six inches above that. So obviously they're still carrying water. Now, I know that could run off by a couple of foot, but it's still not the type of level that I'd feel comfortable um, fishing in. I know there's a, a match on the uh, River Wye tomorrow, so I'd imagine if there's not many available swims, uh, the guys up there that fish it regularly will probably be having a little practice, and if there's any odd swim that they can actually get in to have a go, um, the chances of me actually uh, finding a spot that were quite remote so I didn't bother with that. So um, I have got a new acquisition, it's um, a Edge Monster margin pole by Preston. Seems like a lovely rod. Um, I was sort of put onto the rod by uh, my manager in work, I've mentioned you, to you before about him, his name's Mac. And uh, he bought his son, Perry, um, an Edge Monster pole, Preston that is. And um, 
when we fished at um, a place called Land's End in Somerset. Now, uh, his son Perry managed to catch a couple of fat carp on it. And um, myself, although I did connect with a couple of carp, the, uh, the one came in backwards, which was about 10 pounds, and uh, it came off the hook right in the landing net. And then the other one was about 7 pounds. That was a common because I had a good look at the fish and that came off right under my feet practically. So I didn't have a very successful day myself but um, my manager in work, Mark, did. He had a few carp and so did his son. But uh, I've been fishing with a frenzy margin pole for some time. But I didn't like the way it was coming out to the um, end of the pole. I don't think it was cut back quite enough, but uh, these are pre-bushed on these margin poles and uh, it definitely comes away a lot easier from the end of the pole than while I was fishing before with the um, frenzy margin pole. So hopefully it's going to help me connect with the fish. It's been slow going, but this is how it's going to be now, probably for most of the winter. You know, it's, they don't feed the same as what they would in the summer. These um, fish whether it's carp roach bream or perch you know they're starting there get ready for their winter mode where they um, shut down and uh, sometimes they, they can be in uh, quite good shoals together um, but at the moment you know what is they call it stay together then just to keep warm but um, at the moment there's not a lot moving about so um, if I do connect with something, I'll get back to you. Okay folks, I just looked into my first fish, which uh, as I suspected, the roach. And that's the first one. So that's on my edge monster. Come back in, nice and safely. So, although it's uh, not the best of days, at least I've christened that rod now, so it's not a blank for me today. So, at last, a fish to show you. And would you believe it? It's another roach, but it looks like a bit of a hybrid because. Uh, the fins are quite dark on it, so it does look a bit like a, a skimmer bream. Back in the net. This is uh, something if you fish this water, the um, club requires that you land all fish and you return them in the landing net as well. Safeguards of fish and it only takes seconds anyway, so there's no issue with that. There's a roach on the corn. And that time that, that fish has got um, more orange fins than the last one. That's why I felt it was um, a hybrid. Because the, the fins on the other one I caught were grey. Well, there's one thing about it, the yeah. elastic's working on this pole and I've christened it, so I've had three fish on it now. Not much problem with the elastic, obviously if they're tiny fish, you're going to bump them. Because the elastic is too big, it's not uh, an elastic you would use to catch really small fish. It's prim primarily the elastic for bigger fish. But you can cast smaller ones on it. You definitely cast the bigger ones as well. That was a bite almost instantly. Yeah. 
um, just masses of small fish in the stream. They're all uh, taking the call, but confidently, which um, as yet has uh, been nothing uh, of any real consequence in the swim. Something um, I want to bring to your attention here as well, when you get snagged up when you're pole fishing, when you're um, attempting to unfree the hook from the snag, run your hand down as far as you can past the elast elastic till you uh, get to where the line is. Now, having done that, you need to turn away as well, 
all the while you're doing that don't actually look at where the um, the snag is in its direction because um, I can assure you when these pole floats come out they're just like that you might think they're fragile but they're not all that fragile at all and they'll definitely stick right into your hand and if you're unfortunate to be looking at it and it pops out directly at you it'll go in your eye and you know you could cause yourself some damage so be aware of that if you're pole fishing look away when you're bringing your um, pole back in from a snag and you know if you can't get your hand down far enough go for the line rather than the elastic because if you pull on the elastic that's going to come out like a bullet literally Hey folks, so what I'm doing now is I'm uh, going on worm. I don't know how that's going to pan out, but I'll give it a try. Um, like I said, I've been fishing with uh, Robin Reds, um, two mil micros. Um, I made them up the day before, so um, they're nice and soft. Uh, they've been going in fine, no, you know, they, they're not like all in a big ball. Um, I've been fishing with 6mm um, Robin Reds as well and I've been loose feeding corn in but um, at the moment it's just that one roach but what I may well do now is chop up some worms and see how that goes Right folks, this fish is uh, I know he's the biggest fish I've caught but pretty welcome on a day like today. And that was caught on a wound. Fish. It was absolutely freezing. I took my time. 